It's a nice little memorial on the corner of uh, 247 and 106. And we we did a ground uh, opening ceremony last year. And this year we're hoping to do a nice little uh, service uh, honoring the Veterans Day. And we also are, we have stones for sale if you wanted to donate to help with the Veterans Memorial. So we have different prices. Um, and if, you, if you're from the area and you have loved ones or someone you'd like to purchase a stone for, they are available. You can go to www.greenfieldtownshipsupervisors.org and click, and click on Park and you'll get the information. Well, welcome to the Greenfield Township Historical Society. Uh, we're located on uh, Route 106 uh, at the Municipal Building. We have a museum building there and also an 1850 schoolhouse that you're welcome to visit. And we also have memberships. We have an individual membership for uh, $10, a family membership for $15, and a lifetime membership for $100. And that helps support the, uh, the Historical Society. We also have 2025 calendars on sale to help support the new Veterans Park. And uh, we have history books, t-shirts, uh, sweatshirts, and a number of other items. So we invite you to uh, visit the Greenfield Township Historical Society. We do have our meetings at the first Monday of every month. And then we do give guided tours as well. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Lynn Conrad, the Executive Director of the Rail Trail Council. We are developing the DNA Trail Trail, which is also known as the Jefferson Branch of the Erie Railroad. So it's a 38 mile trail that used to be a railroad, and along the way you'll see 18 historical posters. So what I have here is historical posters that you'll see along the trail. I know a lot of people can't get out there and uh, travel 38 miles. And we do have a map of the trail, and we've just started a capital campaign because we're improving more of the trail so that it's easy biking, easy walking, uh, just a beautiful place to be and see all sorts of railroad remnants. I'm Chris Macking with the Back, Mac Back Mountain Mono Railroad Club. We're in Dallas, Pennsylvania. On Church Street by the CBS around the circle. And we have uh, historical layout, training. We have a uh, up and running O scale train, o N scale, a uh, H O scale, and Z scale. And we have an open house coming up in October, on October 12th, from 9 a.m. to 3. And Sunday, October 13th, from noon to 3. Uh, it's free. Uh, come in, come down and see us, see what we have. If you like to play with trains, come down and watch us play the trains. Welcome to the display for the Electric City Trolley Museum in downtown Scranton on the property, the grounds of Steamtown. We have a trolley museum that would take more than one day to go through and see all the displays and read all the descriptions. We have a trolley ride that's a 10 mile round trip that starts operations at the end of April and runs uh, through the end of October. It's a 10 mile round trip and it runs from the platform of Steamtown and over three miles of the old Laurel Line up to uh, the Erie, Erie Railroad on Montage Mountain and then it goes on brand new track up to the Montage Ballpark. I'm Adrian Hine. I'm from the Waverly Community House. We have the Destination Freedom Walking Tour. It's regarding the Underground Railroad. So the borough of Waverly up in the Abingtons, Lackawanna County, um, we found that there was a lot of Underground Railroad history there. And a wonderful guy named Jim Remsen, here's his book, he was a reporter for the Philadelphia Inquirer for his entire career. And then he retired and decided to write history books about local history. He wrote this book called Embattled Freedom about the Underground Railroad in NEPA. And we've created a walking tour about it. We, are, we visit the houses around the Com Square and we go to a local cemetery. And we're able to see, we visit the graves and talk about the Apple 
abolitionists, their families, and also the formerly enslaved people who came and settled in Waverly and then ended up joining up in the Civil War. And we have their Civil War graves in the Hickory Grove Cemetery. Hi, I'm Cody Gonzalez with the Carbondale Township Historical Society. Carbondale Township was formed in 1831 from the Blakely Borough, or uh, Blakely Township. And uh, I started this society back in 2022. Uh, we're always overcast by Mayfield and Carbondale, so I wanted to start one for our community. And so far, this is all my personal collection, but we've been slowly getting donations in, and we want to ramp up and try to start having monthly meetings if we get enough interest. Uh, we have a bunch of stuff in our collection from the D&H, the O&W, uh, everything from the coal mining. We have over a hundred miners certificates and we have tons of local memorabilia and just about anything you could think of from flooding, all of our local history with uh, newspapers.com. We've clipped uh, about 300 articles on local history and uh, we'd love to have you in our society. Find us on Facebook at Carbondale Township PA Historical Society. And uh, I'm Cody Gonzalez and just uh, let us know if you want to be a part of it. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Joanne Wilson from the German Historical Society. We meet once a month, the first Sunday of every month at 7 p.m. And the place will either be our new historical building or the first a Methodist Church of German on Washington Avenue. Today we are celebrating German's history at the Viewmont Mall. We will be here all day with all our beautiful items from the Civil War to baseball in sports, the history of German and our mining history and our antique items from the beginning of German. And we also are selling delicious beef steaks. Everyone raves about them. Please come and support our German Historical Society. We have membership forms for you. And we are also selling memorial bricks that will be placed this spring. Please come and dedicate one to your family and your loved ones. Have a nice stay and please come and visit us. Hey, I'm Cheryl Kaiser uh, here at the Viewmont Mall for the History Fair and I'm thrilled to be here. I'm very excited about my, my new sign. It's showing some of the services that I offer. I'm very passionate about helping families with their archive because most of us end up with boxes of stuff that we've inherited or created ourselves. So I've been enjoying uh, talking, doing programs at historic societies, small groups, and of course personal conversations and helping people with all their stuff and making sure that we have a legacy and an archive that we can pass on to future generations. I'm thrilled to be here. I'm Cheryl Kaiser. Thank you. Hi, good morning. I'm Jim Sample from United Fire Company in Montrose. We're taking part in this his history uh, public display today to make people more aware of the Firemen's Museum that we have in the Montrose Fire Hall. The United Fire Company is 177 years old. We started the town of Montrose having three separate fire companies that in the earlier part of this century merged together and became the United Fire Company. I'm V. Paul. I am the president of the Lackawanna and Wyoming Valley Railway Historical Society, and we're here today with some of our merchandise that we have available uh, at the Moscow Station. One of our primary uh, activities is we run the uh, Moscow Station, we take care of the grass, we take care of the building, uh, and we're there when uh, Steamtown brings the train out. My name is John Fitzgerald, uh, the author of um, Dirty Minds. The historian of Steamtown National Historic Site, and this is just a display of some of the things we have at Steamtown. We are a unit of the National Park Service, and 
and uh, okay, whenever we can reach out, we like to do that. My name is Robert Powell, and I'm with the Carbondale Historical Society. And we have here a wide variety of articles about the Delaware and Hudson Canal Company and Railroad. And these are all articles that, uh, uh, that I've written and have been published recently. And uh, if any of those articles are of interest to you, help yourself. They contain lots of facts about the railroad. We have uh, we have a DVD about that was made about the Elko engines on the on the railroad coming into Carbondale at the moment, and uh, we're here to provide information about Carbondale, the Carbondale Historical Society. So if we can help you in any way, we'll be very happy to comply. Thank you very much. Hello, Dale. Welcome to the society. We're having a good time. You're showing off some good stuff. People are looking like they're having fun. And I only gave away so far six of your cards. Hi, so we are the Wayne County Historical Society. We're located in Honesdale, Pennsylvania. And we have a couple of different museums that we operate and open to the public. We'll start first with our museum at 810 Main Street, right in Honesdale. We also have a canal park house. It is uh, from the 1800s, and we've built a pavilion there, and it is open from dawn to dusk. You're welcome to come and walk. We have 16 acres of trails that loop around. We also open a farm museum during the Wayne County Fair that is full of Wayne County farm implements from years ago. And it's always interesting to see people come in and say, oh, my grandfather used that, or oh, I remember using that. We have two other museums that we open, the Bethel School and the Old Stone Jail. We don't own those museums, but we do open them during the summer months. Bethel School is a one-room school schoolhouse and uh, there are lots of Wayne County well actually Honesdale residents that would have gone to that school and um, things that are inside are still original to the building so that's a really interesting place to come and bring your kids and let them know that that's the way school used to be and then of course we have the Old Stone Jail which is a jail that was built in 1858 and has 10 cells in it it has a lot of really great stories associated with it so we do a lot of other things um, during the year. We have fundraisers, of course. We have uh, events at our different museums. And we welcome everybody to come and see our place and learn about the local history of Wayne County. Hi, I'm April Regatto from the Lackawan Heritage Valley. We are a national and state heritage area, and our biggest project is the Lackawanna River Heritage Trail, which runs from Scranton Taylor area up through to Simpson and then connects with the DNH Rail Trail, which continues all the way through to the border of New York State. We work with many heritage and cultural organizations within the Lackawanna Valley to show the history of the Lackawanna Valley. Hi, I'm Barb Clover here at the Forest City Area Historical Society uh, and uh, we're the northern gateway of the anthracite region the last coal mining town. The last coal mining town. Hi, my name is Camille D'Antone. I am with the Everhart Museum. Today we have a table here at the Lackawanna Historic Fair that covers a little bit of our year in review with our uh, Report to the Community magazine that we come out with every single year. We have free admission passes, uh, we've got our updated brochures, uh, info about uh, membership, our Scholastic Art Awards, which is a competition for teens in the area. Um, we've got some color sheets, a little bit of our teaching collection, so we've got some ammonite fossils, some fern fossils, and then also some of our updated events coming up. So next Saturday is our third annual Everhart or uh, Reagan and Fun Community Day, and then we also partner with the Neog Greenhouse uh, for their annual Honeybee and Harvest Day Festival, so we're calling it our Fall Fantastic Weekend. From the Clifford Historical Society, we meet up on Sundays at the Clifford Hoover School. I'm, I'm Lisa.
Lisa Forba. I'm here representing the Susquehanna County Historical Society. Um, our display here has just a little sampling of all of the events and exhibits that we do in our society. My name is Chad Campbell, I'm from Reading, Pennsylvania, and this is my vintage beer and brewery advertising collection. I'm a longtime collector in a short amount of time, amassed a collection inside of 14 years. I buy, sell, and trade in vintage advertising, specializing in uh, beer and brewery advertising from Pennsylvania. I am always interested in buying. I offer free appraisals. Please feel free to visit my website at www.brewaf.com. Hi, I'm Mark Kahn. I'm representing the 143rd Volunteer Infantry Regiment from Luzerne County. And what you see here is uh, a medical display as well as uh, some equipment that the soldiers would have carried with them. and I'm here with my local history writings and to represent the Dunmore Cemetery Tour. We've got some Baked with Love gift sets, Stories in Stone, Murder in Scranton, the Center Street Murders, and Baked with Love. And we're having a great time here today at the local history fair. Petula, um, kind of a hobbyist of Scranton memorabilia and a little bit of everything else. Got interested in a lot of different things from Scranton's past. Um, decided to write some books on it out of my own interest. And it's kind of mushroomed into a general interest in all kind of Scranton memorabilia. From bottles to postcards to political pins. Uh, to beer trays, to beer items. Anything related to Scranton history. Uh, the books have been... They found a pretty good market. People seem to find it interesting. My latest one is going to be out very soon. Uh, it's called The Faces of the Accused. And it's about uh, Scranton mugshots. I have a huge collection of Scranton mugshots. And I detail some of the interesting characters and faces and some of the interesting crimes that were committed going back to the 1800s right up until the 1940s. Hi, my name is Kathleen Zinsky. I'm from the Scranton City Chapter, Daughters of the American Revolution. I'm here to make, to let people know that we are a service organization, um, that we are here to help you if you're um, interested in joining. The criteria is you have to have a direct bloodline to uh, Patriot of the American
Evil Sweets by Lulu, and I'm Lulu. We are a local bakery out of Scranton. I do not have a storefront, I just have a certified kitchen, but we do over 100 flavors of cake and 100 flavors of cookies. We always post where we're going to be. Follow us on Facebook or our Instagram. Thank you. the Old Forge Historical Society. Of Old Forge, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing sports because our town is known for its sports. Yeah, so we have a lot of pictures from our state championships. Uh, we have some stories about guys from Old Forge who owns the Buffalo Bills NFL team. Uh, we have the first paycheck as well. Uh, if you're interested, uh, back when Louis Pagnotti of Old Buffalo Bills and renamed it the Buffalo Tigers. Well, we did the scan of the paycheck. $20 for 1941 to play in the NFL. <laughs> so everybody in our town is sports, so we have a lot of sports stories from the past championships for baseball and uh, football that we've won. My name is Janice Gavern. I enlisted out of Scranton, Pennsylvania in 1967. Um, I entered the Air Force. Later on, I was in the Air Force Reserve. I am continuing to tell the story of women veterans, particularly in Lackawanna County. And uh, this time, I'm particularly talking about World War I women veterans from Lackawanna County. There was an all-woman American Legion post in Scranton. The Gladys Watkins Post 550 in Scranton, and um, they were started by World War I women who were war nurses, some of whom actually served in France on the front lines. And this is part of my effort to continue to tell their story. Hello there. Uh, my name is Joe Clapatch. I guess I'm one of the organizers okay. here. Oh, I'm Ted Baird from the Francis Lawrence chapter of the Society for Pennsylvania Archaeology, and this is our display on the stuff that we found at Toxton Yards in Duryea. Uh, it's a small percentage of the stuff that we find, just the, the nicer looking of the stuff. Uh, we have historic and prehistoric things. We're having an open house on uh, October the 6th uh, at Toxton Yards in Duryea, and the public is invited if you want to learn what a dig is like, what it's, what's involved in doing a dig, we'd be happy to have you there. Thank you everyone who participated in the 2024 Northeast Pennsylvania Local History Fair. Looking forward to next year and even more local history. And thanks to all the people that attended also. We really appreciate that. Thank you.